All my lips are about to fall off. <laughs> mm, help me. Hey friends, welcome on back. Today I'm getting into another lip product video and I have with me the NYX Professional Makeup Soft Matte Lip Creams. Y'all, these right here, bomb. These to me are some of the best drugstore lip products ever. <laughs> I love these. I wear them to work all the time, so I really wanted to dedicate a video to the soft matte lip creams. And I'm actually thinking of doing the butter glosses after this, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, as you all know, I am doing these videos because National Lipstick Day is coming up. It is going to be on July 29th, and you know what that means. There's going to be plenty of sales. There's probably going to be a sale on Ulta. Maybe on Sephora, you know how they are with their sales. They love, you know, not all the times they go on sale. But then you have also just makeup brands in general that will probably have stuff on sale. Like, I'm going to try to get me some Anastasia Beverly Hill lipsticks. I freaking love them things. And I'm thinking about doing a small video on that one as well. And also, Dose of Colors. Love me some Dose of Colors. Those are the bomb. Let's not talk about these other brands right now because this is all about NYX Cosmetics. So I'm going to get them in order from lightest to darkest to the best of my ability. And then we'll start off with the video. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to be trying out 10 different shades for you guys for the soft matte lip creams. You guys, my lips are a little bit stained just because I've been doing other lip videos. So please bear with me but i'm going to put on as much as possible so that you guys don't really see the stain in the background but yeah so like i said i'm going to be trying on seven different shades and i think i have way more than this i know for a fact i have way more from nyx than this however i love you be losing these because i do keep them in my bag because they are a staple like for the work bag these are definitely a staple. So let's talk about the soft matte lip creams. I'm going to go on the Ulta app because that's where I get the majority of my lip products. So from what I see, there's about 18 options for the soft matte lip creams. They run about $6.50 a piece. Really, really affordable. So if these go on sale, y'all, cheap. <laughs> dirt cheap. We love dirt cheap. But yeah, so it says that the NYX Professional Makeup Soft Matte Lip Cream is a unique matte liquid lipstick with a creamy mousse texture and it is creamy. I freaking love it. It says delivering comfortable, long-lasting lip color. Hmm. I don't know about that long-lasting. <laughs> I don't know about that long-lasting part. But yeah, I still love them regardless because they're so cheap and good. So with that being said, I'm going to get into my first shade. So the first shade that I have right here is called London. She's really cute, very nude, very light. So I'm just going to put her on. Ooh. I don't think I ever wore this shade by itself before. But it's looking real good. This one's kind of blending in with my skin though. That I don't like. This shade right here did pull my exact same skin tone. That's not a bad thing. I personally use this color because like I said, I've used pretty much all of these before because I love this brand. Um, all the ones that I purchased, that's what I'm saying. This one, lip liner for sure cork chestnut my go-to's it's necessary <laughs> this next shade that i have is called abu dhabi and i feel like i use this one frequently i know for a fact that i've used this one on my channel before it's a really nice nude shade and it's just a smidge darker than my skin i usually apply this one in the middle of colors This one is just another nude shade. I feel like it's super cute. Like I said, I like to wear it in the middle of a shade. It gives a really nice ombre effect. If you 
like that whole vibe i personally do looks good with a lip liner applied with another one of the nyx ones that i'm going to show you guys in a little bit and i feel like it's just perfect but i just don't like it alone the next shade i have is san diego now this one i don't feel like i've worn that often so i can't really remember what it looks like but it's in like a lightish pink color bottle so i'm feeling like it's gonna pull like salmon oh this is mm, this is different <laughs> Y'all, as soon as I put this shade on, I could automatically tell you why I don't wear this shade all the time. Y'all, this one pulls very light, light pink, but that pink that gives almost ashy vibes. Mm -mm. This one is not the pink for me, and that's okay. But if you like it, and you also think that it'll look good with your skin tone, go for it. I personally absolutely have to wear a lip liner with this and I would ombre this one out because it's just a little bit too harsh for me. Now it's time for Los Angeles. This one I'm almost out of because I freaking wear it all the time. <laughs> it's so funny. I can barely... I might have to get a replacement of this one. Y'all, so this is a really cute shade. It pulls brown, but it has like gray undertones. So that makes it really, really cute. It's a cool toned brown in my opinion, and it looks really good. As you can see, I was struggling to get it out of the bottle. That means it's almost gone <laughs> because I really, you know, I like this shade and I use it a lot. So do what you want with that information, but again, this is the shade Los Angeles, and I think it looks really good. The next shade I'm going to be trying is called Shanghai Shanghai, and it's looking a little like mauve pink. To me, the pinks are always hit or miss with Nick. Pinks are always hit or miss with me, and this one is definitely a miss. I don't know. I'm personally just not that impressed with it. Um, and it, I think it's also the formula. I feel like the cream formula makes the pink on my lips look a little patchy. And that's just not the look that I ever want to go for. Patchy is like, no, we're not about to do that. So, again, I still really love the formula. I love the brand. But in certain shades, it just doesn't look right on me. This is one of those shades, in my opinion. Now I'm going to be trying Sao Paulo. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Because I'm not quite sure in this one. I'm also like a little bit sketchy about. Hmm. wait a minute y'all why is this one so freaking cute like i wasn't expecting her round of applause so i'm really excited about this one i actually don't even want to take it off so i think that i may have not have ever tried this one i just had it in my freaking drawer that's so annoying <laughs> i hate when colors that i've never used before just slip under the radar because i have like so much product that's annoying but yeah i think this one is really really cute you guys my next shade is called rome okay you guys i actually really like this shade and to me Rome pulls as a cool tone pink, so it's definitely giving mauve vibes. If you're an OG to ColourPop, do you guys remember Stingray 
by ColourPop. That shade right there, it reminds me a lot of this. It's not quite exactly just like it, but Stingray was like a ColourPop collab with It's My Ray Ray. Y'all, I used to freaking love It's My Ray Ray so much. And don't get me wrong, I still love her, but she just doesn't post on YouTube anymore. She doesn't really do her um, makeup content on YouTube anymore. Like she used to, I feel like between It's My Ray Ray and Alyssa Ashley, I loved them, okay? But yeah, so this is the shade Rome, y'all. I have three more shades left, you guys. Let's get into it. <laughs> So our last kind of pink tone shade for the day is called Budapest. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. I love that it's a little darker than the last shade cause I really like that shade. And so obviously I like this one too. So I didn't think that this could be true, but I think this is my favorite shade out of all of them that I've tried so far, which is like, it's usually not normal for it to be like a pinky color. It's more on the brown side, but let's try out these last two shades, you guys. So like I said, I have two brown shades left for today. The first shade that I'm going to be trying is Dubai, and it looks like it's going to be more on the warm side, so let me just... Actually like a weird medium in between cool and warm it's pulling more cool but it's still like gives like warm undertones to me super super cute this is again another one of my favorite shades NYX is really known for their nudes their browns I try to stay away from their pinks and reds cuz like I said they did me dirty earlier <laughs> but their nudes and browns I absolutely love that's exactly why I started buying these products in the first place just because I knew like they had some bomb shades for the nude scale all right y'all so my very last shade for the day is called Berlin and whew, my lips oh I love how pigmented that was sorry let me just apply Okay, this shade is pulling warm. So you guys, this is my last shade. I think it's really cute. Like I said, this shade in my opinion does pull on the warmer side for the brown. So it's definitely perfect for this time of the year. We're in August, it's still summer. So it's perfectly fine. And to be honest, I'll wear this one in the fall too. It don't even matter. <laughs> But yeah, let's talk about my overall thoughts of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Such a mouthful. But yeah, overall, pricing $6.50. That's extremely good. If they're on sale, they're going to be even cheaper. So I don't know if they're going to be buy one, get one free. Or if they're going to just be like a small percentage off or what. But they're a great price. If you're anything like me, maybe stay away from like those pinks because they can be patchy they can look drying and you know they just they just don't always look right that's just my personal opinion but yeah another thing that i want to say is these can like dry up like i've had these before and they have went bad like they dried up basically in the tube just remember that they're only $6.50, so they're not going to be the best of the top quality, but they're still really good for, you know, everyday wear. These are the products that I'll wear, like, on no special occasion, like, every day. I just, you know, genuinely enjoy these products by NYX. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What's your favorite NYX um, soft matte lip cream? Because I know you guys have one. These are very, very popular. So y'all definitely comment below and maybe I'll try it out. It just depends. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you in my next lip video. Bye, you guys.